Hey yo, I just seen a video online, Skinny from the Nine and Almighty J. You know YBN, Almighty J. Shout out to J Prince. I know he signed him. I seen a lot of niggas making fun of that fight and trying to make fun of Skinny for the Nine. You know what respect I can give Skinny for the Nine? For as all, all that shit y'all say about that man, he seemed to catch a lot of fades. He never run to no police ish. He never get the tweaking out this and that. I never see none of you niggas' educational purpose get in that type of situation. You dudes never put y'all dukes up. We always hearing about a rapper getting dr drilled, killed. For all you people who don't mad when I bring up the rappers who died, and I try to bring advocate justice, but you niggas always have the teardrops, the water drop. So why is it funny when two dudes drop the piece and pick up their dukes and handed it out like men? It's like the world only likes out of control behavior. I kind of miss seeing this like that. I was kind of proud when I seen Skinny for the Nine and Almighty J put up their dukes like that. You don't really see a lot of things like that no more. So all I'm trying to tell you niggas is out here, bro, that's unheard of to see dudes put up their dukes and, and chuck it out right quick. I don't care who personally won or not. I ain't gonna lie. I seen Jay got a good left because he hit Skinny with the left. Skinny fell down. But guess what? Hey, to all the young people watching, guess what? Skinny from the nine. But he got back up. Yeah, just like that. He got back up. In a fight, you win some, you lose some. I know it's cliche, but you live the fight another day. Ain't y'all get mad at hearing that cliche part, but you like the cliche part where you wake up in the morning and you hear breaking news. Rapper killed the day. Breaking news. Rapper shot the day. You love that shit, right? It's cliche, but you love it. But what's cliche? Um, live the fight another day. You don't want to hear that part. Oh, it's boring. It's old nigga rhetoric. Nah, bro. Hey, shout out to Skinny for the nine and, and Almighty J. Y'all did something. All all these so called Thor rappers around y'all, they would never do what y'all do. Everybody go for the burners and the blicky first. The only time I'm gonna go for the burner in a fight situation is if I never ask you for a fight and you see me somewhere and you just try to jump out and hit on me or whatever, yeah, I might, I'm gonna I'm get that blick, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I ain't no train boxer or nothing. But in a case where we have been having war of words going back and forth and we ask each other like men to duke it out because Almighty J and Skinny from the Nine been trying to get it in pause for like two years now, strong. So it was good to see it go to that point. Nobody got to get robbed. Nobody got to, nothing like that. Shout out to Skinny for the Nine. Shout out to Soldier Boy. For signing them to SODMG, money game. You know, like, whether that helps or not, I like seeing the little engine that could. You was taught that all the way in kindergarten, game. Don't fucking stop. Keep going strong in the paint. Let them folks know who the hell you is. And I rock out like that. So y'all can make fun of the situation all you want. I want y'all to do one test. Go look at your favorite rapper. Yeah, we on a subject y'all don't want to hear. Go look at your favorite rapper. Has your favorite rapper ever been in a situation like Skinny from the Nine chucking out the deuce or one on one and giving it to a nigga? Right. Go Yayo did that, and Go Yayo don't get the respect that he deserves. Shout out to Go Yayo, man. One love to everybody, man. Now I'm going to be out here, man. Look, salute to all the people who's rocking this movement and watching it. And y'all stay blessed, man. Salute.